Well, time to continue. <laughs> well, I'm, oh, I'm, oh. I'm, All right then, I'm, on to the next one. Yeah, I, I, I have. I, I honestly don't cringe at it anymore, considering the things that I've done to my genitals at this point. I'm you... sure those would be amazing stories, but, but, but just, just not today. Damn it! I was too far out of reach. <laughs> Oh, one of them was really fucking gross, but I'm not going to say it because, oh boy. I'm a oh, real so boy! I don't have to worry about my I've already slept. Son of a bitch, this is a pain in the ass. I used to have no problem before. Now I'm having trouble trying to find the right... Oh, wait a second. Hmm? No, I was just thinking out loud. Damn it! Get rid of this by him. Oh. So, if the hornet's nest falls down on you, you take damage. Oh, that's fucking uh, horseshit. Yeah, yeah pretty much. They're hornets. What were you expecting? Carefully moving by because there's those centipede things that will cut you in half. Fuck you. All right. Running by. You make, and... you make the centipede sound like your average British thug. It's just like, Jim, I'll cut you. you I'll cut you, Jim. <laughs> cut you, Jim. Hashtag not xenophobic. <laughs> 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 Fuck! Like everybody looks at everybody looks at the UK and thinks classy town. No, no. Mm -mm. I, could use I know people from UK and they can confirm this. Mm. Damn it! Uh, all right. Da, 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 da. Whoa, Jesus! Oh, mama! Fuck! God. Damn those fucking bees, man. Or whatever the fuck they are. Hornets, bees. See, bees aren't that bad. Uh, hornets have the rage of a thousand dying suns inside of them. Uh, you know what? Are... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I think that sounds much more appropriate according to what Solar said. What did you say again? I didn't hear him. Oh. I said bees aren't that bad. Hornets have the rage of a thousand dying suns inside of them. I know. <laughs> and the worst time to get stung by them, in my opinion, is when you're driving. Uh, the worst time to get stung by them is ah, fucking shit. any point in time ever. Because you don't, you don't get stung by just one. You get stung by like 30. I know what you mean, but I'm just saying and that... And keep stinging you. I'm just, I'm just saying that it almost happened to me at one point. I was driving to work one day and... There was a hornet in the car. I don't know how it got in there, but I almost got—I almost got stung by it. Oh god, that must be terrifying. You weren't on the freeway, were you? No, no, no. I was on a back road. Okay, it's still like, oh god. What's even worse is that you wouldn't be able to figure out how to get it out. Uh, open the window and pray. And pray that it <laughs> fucking flies away and it doesn't bother you. I mean, it didn't help either that I had like cars behind me too. Like I was driving, like damn it, this thing I. It kind of forced me to swerve a little bit. It's like, like, oh shit! Like, I hope I don't scare the people behind me with what's going on. I had a bee in my pants. I was swerving so it didn't sting me. Oh god! I, now oh I have god. several questions. Like, first off, how did it get in your pants? Yeah, like, you've never had a bee in your pants. With determination and skill. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can wear pants all you like, but uh, those bottoms are open more than you think they are. These are a lot smaller than they think they are. It reminds me of the ant bully. Hmm. Fuck! No? Lucas, that was his name. Yeah. But his nickname was Peanut. Uh, Zephyr, your mic's doing that thing again. Yeah, your mic seems to be farting again. Uh, let me re-plug it in. That... There we go. Okay. Maybe don't feed it so many beans next time. <laughs> okay, how is it now? I mean, it's probably hungry and that has a, quite a certain taste, so, you know. Maybe the certain taste shouldn't be fucking beans, then. <laughs> <laughs> Not just ordinary beans, fucking yeah, beans. Exactly. Gotta have those the fucking beans. Of forever fucking beans. They're beans that uh, reproduce inside your mouth when you're eating them. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you eat one bean and it actually ends up being like 40 beans. Turns out that's the stuff they're swimming around in. 
Yeah. But, um, Mr. my headphones doing it still? Oh, no. Not now. We'll let you know if it no does it again. Idea. Okay. How long do you think we can drag this fucking bean thing out for? I mean, we, we dragged the bee thing out for a while, so... Well, it's also because of the shit that happened in Zelda. Where on occasion, if you ram into a tree, a bunch of bees come flying out at you. Oh, Not yeah. Well, to be honest, bees in Zelda I can handle. It's when you get to the fucking cuckoos. Well, maybe yeah. you'll beat the shit out of him for 15 minutes straight and you'll be alright. <laughs> well, Wait. Like, you have to consciously make an effort to attack cuckoos if you want them to get angry at you. Like, you have to be well aware of what you're doing. Because there's no way in hell that anybody fucking hits that shit like 20 fucking times. Unless I'm you're like, a kid. I yeah. accident. <laughs> no, kids don't they do it because they're sadistic little fucks, and you're a liar if you say otherwise. <laughs> no, like, I remember when my brother was playing around with one of those uh, cuckoo things and realizing, oh, cool, you can hurt those things. It was Ocarina of Time. And exactly. Then it moved, and it moved to a freaking cutscene, and then he started to have, um... Oh, damn it! I was doing so good! Fuck! Alright. Same thing happened to me in the Link's Awakening. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, the first time that happened, and of course, as usual, we flipped the shit like, Oh God, they're killing you! And of course, uh, Link died afterwards. I'm like, God damn. Okay, note yourself, don't yeah. fuck around with Kukos. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't fuck. do they, that. It's like, they should be the heroes of Hyrule. It's just send them off to fucking Ganon. I mean, why not? No, buddy, it's in the wall, Master. Ah, uh, well, I'm on the last Actually, continue. If I don't make it, I don't make it. Oh for Narnia for Asland! As we travel into Asland. Actually, has anyone ever tried that in Breath of the Wild? It's like you grab a cuckoo and I you run all the way to Hyrule Castle with it. I currently don't have a Switch, so... Try doing what with the cuckoo? It's like you take the cuckoo with you, you go to like Cancelot Castle to do the final boss fight, and then you just throw the cuckoo. No, in. but I have seen someone go out of the way to bring a cuckoo up to Death Mountain and throw it in the volcano. Oh my god! <laughs> That's just, horrible. Just watch a legion of cuckoos bring down the volcano. Attack the mountain. <laughs> your your ancestor will be avenged. Fuck <laughs> it. Okay. But then the I remember when I was getting to the end of uh, Breath of the game. Wild, I ended up way fucking over-leveling my shit because I discovered a cheeky little thing. Uh, if you cook up any type of food that gives you temporary hit points, it will always automatically fill you all the way up and then give you the temporary hit points. So, so by the time I went to fight Ganon, I had three fucking pages just full of nothing but food that would give me temporary hit points. <laughs> so by the time I actually got to him, it didn't matter how much damage to me, he did to me, it was just a fucking joke. Was your entire screen just covered in yellow hearts? Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Leave I it still up. need to get the Breath of the Wild for a Switch. It was... Talk about being a tank. I still need to get the Switch in general. Oh, no, no! Oh, shit! Okay. The only, like the uh, only I, I will tell you fucking three words as to why you definitely need to get the Switch. Metroid Prime 4. Oh yeah, that's right. When is that coming out? I have no idea. They, I, I think it's sometime this year, so probably towards the holiday. Hang on. Okay. I was going to assume like next year or something. Like sometime after Smash 5. Hopefully after I get like the equipment that I need to uh, progress with the uh, streaming, um, I could create a donation goal to hopefully, fingers crossed, fuck, get a switch. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully too. Fuck. Yeah. Um, fuck. Yeah. I'm not gonna question why you need a donation goal for that, but whatever. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, shit. It will give. It will give me the confidence I need to be standing at attention at all times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Bullshit! I think the last game I bought for the Switch was the Insane Trilogy. One game I'm looking for, which is definitely Warframe. The only game on the Switch I've ever played is um, Breath of the Wild, because I went to a friend's house and tried it out on there. It was pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, at the time I got mine, though, it was like last year, um, most of the stores were being sold out of Switches, and GameStop was doing a thing where they were taking, had like a special it, bundle where you get the Switch. 
Mario Kart 8 with it, um, and a charging dock for the Joy-Cons. And I'm like, okay, you know what? This is my last chance. Fuck it, I'll get it. I went to a GameStop, and I just said, okay, shut up. Here's my money. Pre-order that Switch right now. And once again, the microphone is farting. Mm-hmm. Stop feeding your mic beans. Yeah, right? <laughs> The adults are trying to talk here. Yeah, it was a <laughs> funny joke, and now and now it's just getting obnoxious. It's like it's like we already have to deal with Teen Titans Go on TV. We don't need it in our microphones. Jesus Christ! I've heard a lot of people say that the movie actually wasn't too bad. No, mm. yeah, no, I heard a lot about that too. I keep getting. Yeah. How am I supposed to get past that? Yeah, is it ridiculous. like sounding staticky or something? It was a yeah. little. We kind of make like, jokes. We we kind of make jokes about like what your microphone is doing. It's like get your microphone off the whoopee cushion. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's probably yeah, just I the mic itself. I think you guys just might be hearing my other fan. Your fan? Your fan sounds like digital he's on, scrambling. He's on push to talk because he has his fan on. Yeah. So whenever he. No, I'm on voice to talk right now. Huh? Damn, you're a liar. How's that make you feel? Other than like a liar. Well, technically, I didn't lie because I was unaware of the circumstances, so no. I was just misinformed. You, 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 you <sighs> said one thing and something else was happening, therefore you're a liar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, you're like, oh, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you're a goddamn liar. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't inherently oh, dislike Teen Titans Go as much as I used to because I'm just respecting that it exists at this point but the I one thing that really bothers me go. is that they had the goal to go on twitter and say hey if this movie does well we're totally going to bring back that other thing that you really want us to bring back and it's like no you're not it's like That's wow that does sound like a bit of a dick move mm -hmm. just, i'm sitting there thinking there is no fucking way that so, you're ever actually going to do that so, did they release a fucking trailer for that so that yeah i think they did because I remember fucking, I, I, I can't remember if uh, what exactly they said, but they were like trying to get a transmission out. He's like, and eventually it just cuts to all the Titans. Like, this is the Teen Titans and we're back. I'm like, oh, oh, I mean, if they oh don't fucking I mean, toy with me. If they actually do it, then like, cool. But if they don't do it, it's just, I'm just going to say, wow, I this is exactly what I expected. Fucking ah, debated. Shit. It's like I can respect that they, antici they anticipated that not a lot of people would be excited for the movie. Woohoo! All right, cool. Whoa, the lightning's all red. All right. Let's see if I can actually finish this. I'm carefully moving through. Oh god. Ah. When you said the lightning is all red, the first thing I thought of was there is a Sith Lord here. You know, when the that fuck maybe the Sith Lord has red lightning. Okay with a quote-unquote Sith Lord, so I wonder what he'd have to say. Oh no! Oh, ugh, I missed it. Actually, fun fact. Make sure you keep your friend Red away from Sith me. Lightning things. only features in um, Star Wars. Oh, Force come on! Because if I remember correctly, you only see the Red Fuck. Force Lightning if you fight Luke Skywalker in one of the um, Force Unleashed DLCs. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. I remember that. Alright, so this is probably the final moment. I don't know how well it's, everything's gonna go. No. <laughs> Without plummeting into the fucking spike pit. No. Oh. Okay. Ah, fuck. Also, I, have, I have to wonder what the anatomy of this creature is if it's covered in fucking spiky balls everywhere. Fuck. Well, it I guess there's no final boss after all. Guess that's the end of that. It's Ooh. something that doesn't want to be molested yeah i could never really beat this game i just enjoy playing it so it looks like that's that i mean this definitely does look like one of those games that you really couldn't beat easily oh yeah no, not like, it's, cheats. no no it's beatable you just have to be really patient with it so no i don't do save states that's cheating so yeah that's earth from jim like if, if I'm not able to beat the game, whatever, I still enjoy playing it. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. With that being said, 
That's the end of this episode, and I finished Earthworm Jim. Cool. Yeah.